This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Rack, how you doing today, buddy? Salute. I'm good, my guy. Salute, How man. you? I'm chilling, man. So we're getting right into it today. We got T.I. Uh-huh. And we've seen him a lot lately talking about, you know, Black Lives Matter movement and talking about how a lot of people have been being killed by cops and we have a problem in this country mm -hmm. right we we all know this right so what Facts. what do you feel about that like i was feeling good about that like you know someone's bringing attention to it mm -hmm. you know talk about it i feel it. like um he got something to promote i feel I like there's a ploy we, behind it we were both talking about that too we were thinking you know what's gonna come next and then we had the little wayne situation mm -hmm. where he's calling his friend Little Wayne out, right? He's saying, yo, my daughter spent time over at your house, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, you know, he's he's dissing him. Over he's attacking the, him. Yeah. yeah, but his Black Lives Matter comments on Nightline, right? Facts. And he's calling him out instead of calling his friend. He's calling him out on Instagram, which was, we both agreed, was weak. You know, like, you don't do yeah, that to your friend. Weak. If that's your homie, you put that call in, mm -hmm. and y'all can speak in private. Exactly, and then we saw him at the uh, protesting the election results just yeah. the other night. He was at the Trump Towers. Yeah, with the protesters, mm -hmm. with the uh, chicks. Yeah, and they were saying, um, "Pussy grabs back." Right, you know, and it's like, okay, first of all, protesting a, the election results. Protesting election results, you guys, you're three days too late. You should have been protesting three days before the election. Mm. You know, like you protested the after the election results because it didn't go your way. I mean, it just shows you how bad the Democratic candidate was that he couldn't defeat Donald Trump. <laughs> should have gave yeah. Bernie a shot. Should have gave. I think Bernie could have beat him. I think but, so too. But we have to accept that Trump is our president now and stay united as a people. Because that's how we can overcome these things like, you know, cops killing people and everything. If we unite I agree, people, but it's not going to happen with Donald Trump, though. We're not going to act like Donald Trump is for uh, equality. Let's not act like that. Because he's, he's already... Not. We know that. We know that. Before right. he got into office, he's already talking about getting rid of a, a certain ethnic group. You understand I what know. I'm saying? No, you're right. You're right. So that alone is spooky. But maybe, maybe, I, I hope he'll surprise us. We can only hope, right? <laughs> I hope, man. Let's pray yeah. for the best. You can only pray for the best and hope for the best. Well, shockingly, we got what he was on um, Jimmy Kimmel last night. Yeah. And all of a sudden, T.I.'s coming out with an album. Those All those hashtags, all us or else. He kept doing that for everything. He trolled Floyd Mayweather. Oh. With the All Lives Matter, when Floyd Mayweather said All Lives Matter, right? But hold on, let, let, me, let me stop you there. Sure. When he got at Lil Wayne on, on Instagram, yeah, he mentioned us or else, right? Or something like that? Something, yeah, yeah. He has these hashtags, us or else, us or else. That's the name of the album. Yeah, but we didn't know he had an album coming out, and he kept putting up us or else, like, artwork and all that. We all thought it was to push the Black Lives Matter movement forward, right? I, I knew it was a publicity stunt. I, I didn't know. I really thought... I, I thought he was going to call attention to a problem, right? But really, he was calling attention to an album. He called out Floyd Mayweather, and he publicly shamed him. Then he called out his little Wayne. Then he's at the Trump rally, and mm -hmm. he keeps hashtagging us or else. Then he's on Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, you're dropping an album, so you're going to profit from the Black Lives Matter campaign. Mm. He's going to, he look, He was looking at it like, oh, okay, we have a problem. So you're saying T.I. right now is an opportunist. He's being an opportunist. He's taking advantage, mm. being a vulture. Of, mm. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, because I'm white, I can't relate. I'm a culture vulture all of a sudden. No, no, no. I'm calling attention to something I see going on here. Mm -hmm. He's taking advantage of the Black Lives Matter movement going on, mm -hmm. you know, to profit for his album. He didn't say on Jimmy Kimmel last night the profits from this are going to go towards the Black Lives Matter movement. And I think they should and people should protest that mm. because you can't speak. Good point. 
Good yeah, point. You, Valid point. If you're going to protest something, protest him trolling the Black Lives Matter movement, using the deaths of all these pe- poor innocent people by cop, killing cops killing innocent people, right? Using these situations and the concepts, calling out Little Wayne, trying to get hot, get his buzz up again, so that the, the label will drop his album. Now all of a sudden, they put they obviously gave the green light because he's at Kimmel, doing an interview, doing a mm-hmm. live performance for his album. Yep, and point this out: him and Meek was out there together, so called so so called protesting. At the Trump Towers, mm-hmm. like they was for the cause, but they was on Jimmy Kimmel together promoting T.I. album with a song they got together. They had an agenda. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it never fails. These entertainers, man, it's entertainment. You guys, you guys think they're all for the g- good and all that but of course there's always it's all smoke and mirrors it's all it's for money smoke and mirrors. it's to line other people's pockets their pockets so many people eat off of them okay this black lives matter thing is hot we gotta troll it and let's get the you know let's get the the hype up for the album mm. they're trolling off of things that are hot what did he say when he said that the trump when he said the trump uh protesters jimmy kimmel said what how did oh, you, fi- how said, did you, how know did you find out about the protesting that was going on at the Trump Towers? He said, I saw it on TV. Yeah, he saw it on TV wow. and ran, ran outside. It got his smartphone out <laughs> and was like, it's bad, y'all. It's bad. Like, come on, man. Us or else. An album title. Mm-hmm. We're going to link the Jimmy Kimmel thing below so you don't yeah. think we're like bugging here. This really happened We're going to link night. the Jimmy Kimmel vi- video to T.I interview oh yeah. my bad tip his name is tip now oh yeah yeah changed his name to tip his yeah. name always been tip but he changed it you know in terms of in the industry now he's gonna right. be known as tip right that's his that's his new name he's not ti no more don't call him ti no more y'all yeah it's just tip. so why don't you guys get in the comment section let us know like what do you feel about this like do you feel like, and then let's not get it twisted, okay? There is a good side to this, okay? Mm-hmm. TI is bringing attention to the Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah, okay? salute on that. And that does need attention, okay? But he's doing, he's using it for profit at the same time right now. And how do you feel about that, Rec? I just feel like I don't like ulterior motives. I like you authenticity. Yeah, you're like me. I don't yeah. like people that's, Deceptive. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Just, just be official, cause you know T.I. come off. Well, publicly he comes off as you know the stand-up dude. But in this situation here, he looks like an opportunist. So that's it. It well, is what it is. I man. guess just tell us what you guys think in the comments, and we'll go from there. And hey, right. we're not trying to be too negative, guys. I know you guys are looking at this. Nah, nah, we just call it yeah. how we see it. Yeah, and if you, if you're, you're, it's your right to disagree with us. I know some of you might disagree with us, and you can say that in the comments, okay? And sometimes you gotta step outside of just being a fan of somebody and just calling shit for what it is. Yeah, because I'm a fan of Ti, and I know Rec is yeah, too. Yeah, I like his music. He's dope. Yeah, but you know, this just seems weird. Like even I'm gonna just say the Shorty Low thing, okay? He was hating on Shorty Lowe to the day he died. Okay, Shorty Lowe told me himself. You know, he said he still tries to stop me at shows and that, 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 that. Okay? Mm. And now, all of a sudden, he's giving it up to the guy. But before, nothing. You know? So, so when you when you say he was trying to stop Shorty Lowe at shows, um, going like to death. Shorty Lowe was saying, like, he couldn't stop my personal shows. But say it was, like, a Jeezy show and, you know... Shorty Lowe was invited and T.I. was invited. T.I. would say, I'm not coming if he comes. So, mm. so they, all of a sudden, well, Shorty Lowe's cut off. Him. Yeah, yeah. So then all of a sudden, Shorty Lowe's cut off the, the show. Wow. You know, wow. and it's just like, then you give it up to him the day he dies. But let's be honest, he was probably relieved. You know, this guy's not on my neck anymore. An authentic mm. Bankhead legend calling me out. You know, it just seemed fake, man. You know, like... Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, All of a sudden, you have kind words within two hours of him passing. Like, uh, I I mean, I appreciate it, but it's at the same time, I I see bullshit from a mile away. I mean, he was promoting his album back then, then. Exactly. And that was only, what, two months ago? Less than two months. Less than two months ago, man. Rest in peace, Shorty Low, man. R.P. Low, Shorty Low. Salute. We all.